Assalamualaikum. Good morning, pupils. We meet again in our PDPR, Mathematics PDPR. So, we are still in the unit for money. And our subtopic for today is division of money. Division of money. This is the drillings that you should do before our GM just now. And we had discussed the correct answer. So, we look at our multiplication chart. Okay, remember, this is the multiplication chart. And this is the division table. Next, we revise our previous lesson, multiplication of money. Okay, 5 ringgit times 6. So, we solve it in standard written method like this. So, 5 times 6, okay, according to the multiplication chart, or uh, as you uh, can memorize, so 5 times 6 equals, okay, so we can build a, time tab, a 6 time table here. So, 5 times 6, where is 5 times 6? So, this is 5 times 6, so the answer is 30, okay, right, RM, the answer is 30 ringgit. Now, we revise on division. 5 divided by 1 equals 5 means 5 times 1 equals 5 or 1 times 5 equals 5. Okay, 14 divided by 7 equals 2. So, 2 times 7 equals 14 or 7 times 2 equals 14. Next, okay, 12 divided by 4 equals 3. So, 3 times 4 equals 12. Or 4 times 3 equals 12. Okay, next, 36 divided by 9. 36 divided by 9 equals 4. Or 4 times 9 equals 36. Or 9 times 4 equals 36. Now, we go through our subtopic, uh, the division of money. Okay, look at the picture, look at the question. 15 ringgit is given equally to 3 persons. How much money does each person get? Okay, look at the keywords here. The keyword here, the keywords here is given equally. So, if we uh, see given equally, means that we have uh, to use division to solve this uh, question. So 15 ringgit. So 15 ringgit divided by 3. So we are going to use two methods here. Okay, the first method. Okay, let's say the three persons uh, are Basit, Aina, and Alif. So how much uh, money will uh, each person get? So, 15 ringgit divided by 3. Okay, if you're going to use uh, 5 ringgit notes, okay, it will be like this. Let's see. 5 ringgit for Basit, 5 ringgit for Aina, and another 5 ringgit for Alif. So, the total of the money is 15 ringgit. Now, we can see that 15 ringgit is divided equally to Basit, Aina, and Alif. So, each of them will get 5 ringgit. Now, method 2, we are going to use the standard written method like this. Okay, remember, okay, write RM15 inside and then 3 outside because 15 ringgit divided by 3. Then, we build a 3 timetable here. Okay, remember, now we uh, look at the 15 here. Okay, find 15 in the blue color number here. Can you see 15 there? So, what uh, is times 3 equals to 15? Of course, it's 5. So, uh, we write 15 first down here. And then 15 divided by 3 equals 5. So, we write 5 above. And then underline and write the symbol of minus. Okay, we minus. Start from 5 minus 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. So, write RM. So, the answer is 5 ringgit. 
So 15 ringgit divided by 3 equals 5 ringgit. Each person gets 5 ringgit. Okay, next, uh, example number 2, 32 ringgit divided by 4. Okay, we're going to use a standard written method of division. Okay, as usual, write 30, 32 ringgit and then 4 outside. Can okay, build 4 timetable here. Now we find 32 in the blue color number here. Can you see 32? Yes, there is 32 here. So we write 32 first below here and then what is times uh, by 4 equals 32 it is 8 so we write 8 above and then underline write the minus symbol okay so 2 minus 2 equals 0 3 minus 3 equals 0 and then write rm so 32 ringgit divided by 4 equals 8 ringgit Okay, teacher hope all of you will understand uh, the division of money. So for your task today, do exercise in activity book, page 110. Okay, see you again. Bye. Assalamualaikum.